So Apple is on a roll with new software rollouts, leading the charge with iOS 18 and watchOS 11 going public yesterday. And we are back today with watchOS 11.1 beta one. And I was wondering how long it was gonna take for us to get this simply because the dot one release for iOS 18 is not really relevant to watchOS since it's more Apple intelligence focused and we know it's gonna be very limited for what comes to the Apple Watch. So I'm very curious to do a quick dive into this with you all to see what's new. Let's get started. All right, watchOS 11.1 beta one just finished installing on our Apple Watch Ultra 2. And let's first take a look at the build number and talk about the update size. So for this build, it actually came in right under about a gig at 973 megabytes. And that is actually pretty significant for an Apple Watch build for a 0.1 release, but it is the first beta. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how this works. Obviously the big questions always come, how's the battery life? How's the stability? Obviously it's way too soon to know that from this build, but we should hopefully in the next 48 hours or so. So jumping into settings, general, and about, you can see Beta 1 carries a G build, and if you watch our iOS 18.1 Beta 4 video, you would know that is also a G build, so that is good to see potentially syncing up these next two releases. Again, big size, first beta, very curious to see how it is going to work. I can tell you just jumping around quickly, from when we got this installed, everything has substantially been pretty good. You can see just how smooth everything is operating here. We can jump around, check out our rings, change our goals. Everything that was made new in watchOS 11 is here and well, it's actually pretty smooth. So yeah, I am not anticipating too much new in this build. I can tell you, obviously, we just did our main video on the Watch OS 11 changes and all of those full release updates with the live activity changes, with the new smart stacks and all of that. So we're not going to do a deep dive into all that stuff, training load, translation app, any of that. But just kind of jumping around, everything has looked pretty smooth. Oh, that's one thing I want to call out. Let's put this down for a second. I do believe we should get our new watch faces and we do here. So if you follow that other video on those watch OS 11 full release features, we only had the uh, new kind of AI compilation watch face. Now we do have that new reflections option here and flux and flux is actually one I'm very excited about. It looks pretty cool. Don't know how people read that quite honestly, might be kind of weird, but I do like the look of this and the potential different styles. I'm one that likes a lot of compilations though. Unfortunately, you're not getting those here, but with reflections, you can have up to four with your Apple Watch Ultra. One other call out here we'll show on the phone is going into general, oops, sorry about that, is going into, I can actually click the right button, is going into the gestures and double tap. As you can see, again, nothing new here built out from Apple for double taps. More apps can take advantage of it now and there is an API developers can hop into to make it more useful, but out of the box, it is still very limited. I did just wanna show you guys that right off the bat. Another call out here is you do truly just see Siri, the old version here, not Apple Intelligence in Siri. Apple did say AI or Apple Intelligence is not coming to the Apple Watch, but like we explained earlier, Smart Stack is going to be coming for notification summaries, and this is a perfect option for that to be made useful on. Aside from that, there are no other changes here. You have your set options for live activities in smart stacks and all that. That was available in watchOS 11. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet for you guys today. I am hoping stability and battery life will remain good here like it was for our watchOS 11. I'll do a follow-up video when we see really what's going on with that and if there's any other changes we missed. Comment down below what items or features are you really wanting to see on your Apple Watch with the future software update. Clearly, Apple's kind of peaked, I think, as far as what they can do and what new ideas are coming up with, but let us know down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.